I'm going to be making a DIY salt shaker and this is just a used spice jar. It has the holes in it already and that just pops off. I've already taken the label off which is still kind of sticky. We're going to be Mod Podging so it doesn't really matter if it's sticky. So we're going to take that apart. We're going to set that shaker top and lid aside. And what I have is dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Not to run this through the dishwasher because I really don't think Mod Podge is that great to do that with. But you can at least be able to, you'll be able to wipe it down with a wet rag. And let me get my paintbrush. Y'all are going to like this. This was, I think, an Eglin's uh, carton. And it's clear, so it's plastic, which is wonderful. And so you can use these 24 cups to mix paints in. And over here, this one just still happens to have the glue dot in it, so I just stuck my brush to it that way. I know exactly where it is. And we are going to set this aside because what we're going to Mod Podge on here, well, you can do anything you want. If you have a fabric you like or anything like that, that's perfectly fine. I'm using magazines, um, the turquoise and the yellow are some of the colors that I have in my home. So I'm actually going to tear some right off of the front page. So what we want to do is we want to flip through our magazines and just kind of, I don't, I'm not going to be super particular, I just want to see uh, what there is, let's see, here's some yellow, I'm going to probably add some of this darker golden color there, and oh yeah, I kind of like that too, so let's add some of that. some of those colors. I have orange also in my decor. And I'm not really typically a pink person, but those are kind of pretty. Let's give it a little a little pop of pink. And let's see. This is kind of pretty. I like this golden color here too. Okay, so we'll see. That might actually be enough for right now. And I am literally just going to put these all together. Whoops, maybe. <laughs> and I'm going to start tearing. I forgot that one was thick. So I'm just going to tear them into smaller pieces. I should probably make sure they're the right direction. And I just want them kind of random. Kind of random. Like that like that. Okay, now let's get some of our Mod Podge and we're just going to start coating and I would just do a section at a time. Mod Podge dries really, really fast. So, and don't go up above this line. I'm sorry, I'm probably out of focus. Don't go above this line right here. Back in my focal point. Because you don't want your um, you know, you want to be able to screw your lid on without too many problems. So, I'm just going to do a section here and get this on here real good. Okay, and then I'm going to start, and this was kind of thick because this was actually the cover of the magazine, but I think it's still going to work. These pieces are going to be easier to work with. And just press them down. Maybe. I'm not sure that one's going to work. This is very messy. And too, with my, with my spice jar already being sticky. See? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's alright though. Let's 
stick this one over here. And what else do we have here? Oh, here's this one's pretty. I like that one. We'll put that up here. Oops, maybe. We add a little more Mod Podge. I think it's already starting to dry. And this is going to dry clear, so um, we're going to end up coating everything on it anyways. I'm just trying to get this as close to the top as I can and kind of pressed out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we're going to be coating the whole thing over the entire top of our paper. And, okay. So, and I'm trying to work fast. You don't want to take your time. I'm just trying to work fast for the purpose of the video. So you don't have to sit there and watch this all in fast forward. And you don't have to sit here and listen to me talk for ever. So I'm just going to give you an idea of what we're doing here. And I think I'm going to put this one down here. And then I'm going to take some of this, actually put it right over the top of that. So we are basically just making a little, you know, collage of all of this. And what I'm going to do, I know I'm not finished with this yet, uh, but it is taking some time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set it aside for now. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the lid. Oh, actually, let me get that out of there. Let me set the lid here. Let me move this aside. Now, what I'm going to do, because we're going to be painting the lid that goes on here. So what I want to do is I'm taking a black Sharpie marker. And I am just going to put... Kind of a fancy little S on it. I'm going to set that there and let that dry. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my Mod Podge and put it in here. And we don't need a lot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some food coloring and I'm just going to tint this a little bit so it gives it just a little bit of color since I'm going to be um, Mod Podging on white and I'm going to try to make it a little bit turquoise uh, if I don't go overboard here. Let's put one drop of that. That's green. One drop of blue. Let me stir that around and see what I've got. So I have a feeling we're going to need a little more blue in there. And we are. We're going to need a little bit more blue. So let's put one more drop of blue. And I'm thinking that's probably going to be good. Okay, so now let's mix that up. So I decided to go ahead and use some of my tinted Mod Podge on the bottle. Um just to tone it down a little bit, which I actually really like that. And I want to go ahead and add just a little extra touch to it. And so I have this silver tape right here. And I think I want I think I got this at Walmart um, for $1.99. So what I want to do is I want to put some right around here. Get that a little straighter. Oops. Okay. I want to let me bring it all the way around. I'm sorry, I probably keep getting out of the frame. Um, I can't see what I'm filming though. So I actually have a lot of silver and stainless accents in my house, all throughout my house. My house is a pretty modern decor. Let's 
see, where did I start that at? Well, this tape is so good, I can not find the end of it. Huh, okay. This will be close. Actually, I'm going to put one down here, and then I'm going to put one in the middle. Because this is going to actually go really well in my kitchen. And this tape is really flexible, and it's also a little bit stretchy, but it's um, thick, durable. So, I don't have to worry about that. You don't worry about breaking it or anything while you're, while you're working with it. And the reason that I'm pressing it the way that I am is because it is conforming to the texture of my Mod Podge that I have underneath. And now I want one more in the middle. set that aside and let me go ahead and press this out and there you have it and I have this cute little modern salt shaker mm -hmm.